Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Hope you're all doing fine. Anyway, today we're gonna learn about biology tissues, part one, plant tissues. And this is us, and I don't know what that emoji is. I just draw it for fun. I mean, not draw it, I just, you know, put it there for fun. Anyways, what are tissues? Well, tissues are wait i forgot wait no i actually forgot what tissues are let me remember all oh, right 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 tissues are a group of cells similar in structure working together to achieve a particular function for example c this is a, for example c this is a cell this is a cell this cell is doing something for uh something okay for example this is a cell this cell it wants to achieve a particular function means wants to reach its goal now this cell is not the only cell that is that is trying to achieve its goal many cells similar in structure to that specific cells to that specific cell are working to achieve the same thing as that cell i hope you all understood well now that that's over tissues are divided into two parts plant tissues and animal tissues plant tissues are pretty self-explanatory tissues which are present in the plant anyways plant tissues are of two types merismatic and permanent merismatic tissues are the tissues which can divide and permanent tissues are the tissues which cannot divide let's learn about merismatic tissues in this video perfect okay merismatic tissues are divided into three parts apical meristem tissue intercalary meristem tissue and lateral meristem tissue but why are they called meristem tissue they are called meristem tissue because when they grow up they will have a wedding ha marry the stem yeah yeah you got yeah you understood these tissues are called merry stem tissues because when they grow up they're good they're gonna marry a stem okay i'm just joking merry stem is a greek word which means dividable so these tissues are not gonna marry the stem when they grow up i just i was just joking y'all Mary stem actually means Mary stem actually means dividable. Okay, now let's learn about apical tissue first. Apical tissue gives rise to the plant, of course, and it's divided into two parts: shoot apical Mary stem tissue, which gives rise to the shoot of the plant, and root apical Mary stem tissue which gives rise to the root of the plant. Plant tissues. Let, let's learn about lateral tissue now. Lateral tissues are the tissues which give secondary growth to the plant. And it is present in the stem. So, lateral mary stem are the tissues which increase the thickness of the plant. If you don't know what thickness is, please search on Google. And intercalary Mary stem. Intercalary Mary stem is present at the internodes of the plant. It is it is responsible for giving rise to parts of the plant like leaf. Now let's now let's see where these tissues are located. Shoot apical meristem tissue is located at the top of the plant. 
intercalary meristem tissue is located at the internodes, as I said, and lateral meristem is located on the stem, as I said. Root apical meristem tissue is located at the root. India, bye.